in trouble. And Wasi said, if I leave, I'll be fired. Oh man, I think I already had a couple. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but all right, take two already. I didn't even go one second. That was the fastest uh, blah blah whatever I've ever had. I think. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, we need the the clicker. Welcome to Flipping Dayton. In this episode, you're gonna see a lot of work getting done. The roofers arrive and get started on the roof. Electrical work is getting done. Floors are getting sanded. Cleanup is continuing. So this is gonna be an episode where a lot is getting done. Waski Simon, concert promoter and business owner, turned into real This is an access panel. What is it for? COVID-19 decimated the entertainment industry, burying his beloved entrepreneurial dreams. Using his years of marketing experience, he is creating a one-of-a-kind business plan to save his companies. In 30 days, he will take his investments and turn them into huge profits by recreating the housing marketing strategies of the past with his apprentice and legendary Ohio State University clutch kicker Tim Williams, they are on a mission. Time is their enemy. Will they succeed against all odds in just 30 days? We are flipping the housing market upside down. We are flipping Dayton. So today, our roof is getting done. Uh, Andy Johnson with Johnson Restoration uh, is supposed to meet me early on in this morning. Early on in this morning? No, that's not how it goes. So today, we're starting on the roof, and Andy Johnson with Johnson Restoration told me to get there early. His guys are gonna be there, they're gonna start working. And by golly, they were. I think it was 7.30 in the morning. They had already started working on the roof faster than I wanted because I wanted to film some of it, but we ended up filming some of it. But uh, those guys work fast. I mean, I mean, they were knocking out that roof and uh, it was getting done quicker than I thought it would. Day one of roofing. So uh, Johnson Restoration is here. As you can see, they're laying out the uh, protection in case any debris comes down. So all this stuff is going on at the house. The front is covered, the doors are locked. We can't go through the front door. The back door is locked. Uh, we have no access to the house. So I told Clark to go in the window. And, and if anybody's ever seen Clark, Clark is a big dude. I mean, he's gotta be 6'4", probably almost 300 pounds. And, uh, he went through that window. I was actually shocked. But once he got in, it took him forever to unlock the door. <laughs> it's funny, he's like, like he locked himself inside, inside. He can't get out. The doors are locked and uh, somebody cut off all the electric. Oh man. So you're gonna have to go through the window. Really? Seriously? I'm not going through the window. I'm a 270 pound. Can you fit it through that? I don't know, 
I want to see this. It's going to be a long step, like a peak long step. <laughs> oh, man. Woo. There he is. That's the biggest man going through a window. So we get in the house and all the electricity is off. Like, I don't know who turned it off. I don't know if it's too early. I, I, it's like I shouldn't have a bill yet to think that I didn't pay my bill or something like that. Or so I get Clark on the phone and he's flipping switches. And finally we, we get it on and, and we get it working. But it's like one thing after the other. What next? Huh? Clark, are you flipping? Let me call him. We got power off in the whole house. I guess somebody kicked off all the breakers. Clark, there he is. <clears throat> are you flipping uh, breakers? Yeah. Do one at a time and I'll tell you. I mean, like, I, I got no power here. Hold it, hold it. Just turn all the breakers on and leave them on, and then we'll turn one off at a time. Maybe I didn't pay the bill. Oh, uh, it flickered. Did you did you keep it on or you turned it on and off? Clark, what? Um, yeah, I've got power now. Okay. Yeah, I got power. Um, it's fine. Just leave whatever. Now this one doesn't look on. Is this on? Get her. Woohoo! Did you get that one? <laughs> huh? <laughs> that was a nice. Uh, that's like a soccer. Uh, right. <laughs> that one would be good. <laughs> if you got that one. So we got a delivery of some Duroc. For those who don't know Duroc, or it could be green board, or whatever. It's it's a special cement board that you put where water. Uh, is usually around. You use this material. I actually did some physical labor and carried a couple of boards to show the guys that I'm, I'm in it with them. Like, you know, people think I don't work physically. They feel my hands, they say soft, but I do work every now and then, physically. Not a lot, but every now and then. No, I'm not taking two. I'm too old for two. You got another arm? <laughs> You work out in the morning, man. That's right. This one looks wet. I probably could get two. Oh yeah, I could get two. This is piece of cake, man. Piece of cake. I don't know if you got the right backer board. <laughs> so good I mean the plywood seems strong so that's always a concern uh -huh. when you're dealing with a two-layer roof you really don't know what you're gonna find you could find anything from one by boards which we refer to as space decking which yeah. requires laying all new plywood down in this case we have plywood so everything looks good strong no so dry rot when you take out the, uh, the I guess the, the fans uh -huh. That are out there. Yeah. Do you have to put new decking on top? Yeah, yeah. Just so we'll fill in spots. Yeah. So we just scab in a piece of OSB to fill the hole. Okay. Um, we. I'm glad you brought that up, though. We will need to address the electrical on the inside. We'll need to make sure that that's removed yeah, think, or yeah. capped off. Yeah, yeah. Um, the electrician will be here uh, in an hour. Perfect. So I got some mail today, and believe it or not, my deed showed up. My deed for the house. I was actually, I wasn't expecting it to arrive so early because of COVID, uh, but it was nice to receive 
the deed, the general warranty deed, which is the best deed you can get. I just got my general warranty deed. Good timing. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm good to go. TCG. That's when you buy foreclosure. Sometimes things come up. We're good. Good timing, right? So what I like about Andy Johnson is that he's a perfectionist. You know, he, he brought this, uh, you know, like it's like a tubing thing that goes around the electrical uh, posts that come in, out of the house to make sure the flashing is good. And he goes around it and fits perfect. And it's just, it's a clean, uh, you know, it's a clean something. It looks clean. Not clean as in clean as not dirty, just a clean look. You know, when you see somebody that looks fresh, they look clean. So the roof looks clean. It's like perfect, you know, eliminate some vents that we don't need and uh, just really amazing work. And that's what I like about Andy. I think I like you, Andy. So Austin just went and picked us up. This is an electrical mask boot. So obviously we're dealing with the electrical feed to the house. So that's not something we can pull off because we've got live wires. So this is a mass, an electrical mass boot. And what we do is we just trim this out uh -huh. and we're able to stick this around safely around, around the electrical mass. Oh, and then we use these clamps and we pinch it together. And then we'll use a silicone, a clear silicone oh, to seal that up. And this is just a safe way to put new flashing around live electric without okay. so disconnecting what, which, power. Which part is that going on? So on the back where you have the electrical feed off the uh, pole coming into the house. So Andy wanted to have a little fun. He broke out his uh, drone. I think he just broke it out likes to show off. You know, guys that fly drones, I know what they do. I can fly a drone. I'm cool. I know you're cool, Andy. But he did provide me some great footage of the roof getting done. And you're cool. You fly a drone. That could be a skit. <laughs> I'm cool, I fly a drone. <laughs> Cause guys that fly drones, they think they're like, I'm gonna fly a drone. So I got a chance to speak with the dancing plumber, Johnny Veda, and I'm sure you're wondering why I call him the dancing plumber. It's a new nickname. I like to give nicknames to, to people. So when Johnny's off the clock, he's usually hanging out at JD Legends watching concerts, and he likes to come to dancing concerts like the Boy Band Tribute, or the Bon Jovi Tribute, or something with a little dancing. And if you watch him, he loves to dance. And I got a feeling Johnny's gonna be the next star. He's probably on my show, but he's an expert and I truly respect Johnny. Johnny Veda, Veda, whatever your name. But he's a cool dude, knows his stuff, been doing plumbing for over 30 years and actually helped us at JD Legends uh, 18 years ago and uh, he was explaining about shower heads, which I'm gonna talk about soon. So we're, we're running into a little situation from what I heard. Yeah. You yep. have to um, do, what you, what you have to do? Um, well, we replace this uh, diverter here. Okay. Um, because when you got the walls open, you have an old diverter, like that one, you're okay. best to replace it. Um, and then on the other uh, bath side, you have a three-handle on there, which is illegal. Uh, so we should probably be replacing that one also. Well, I just changed that one, honestly, because one guy was 
doing the work and he said, oh, I can change it, whatever. Mm -hmm. So now we have to, so three handles are illegal? Yeah, because what it is. Why do they sell three handles then? Um, for replacements, if you don't pull from it. I mean, a lot of stuff at Lowe's is illegal. They have running traps there, those are illegal. Huh. Um, they don't want a kid to get in there. And, and turn the hot on. Or on stole themselves, right? Which, you know, you can have a two-handle at a faucet, but you're not allowed to have that at that time. Interesting. Now, you can put a mixing valve on it, but by the time you do all that, you've blown more than a cost just to put a regular one-handle valve on it. Okay. Well, we can take that apart. This is okay? Yep. So this one's done, ready to go. Okay. So you're going to mount it now? Mount it. Uh, do you need to mount the... Uh, or do you wait till after yeah. the drywall? I didn't even buy it because I didn't know what color you're going with. Okay. With well, these faucets, you can buy the trim afterwards. Yeah. So you can get chrome, yeah. polished brass, uh, or rubber on, whatever you want. So I was talking to Chris Thomas, my electrician, one of my electricians, I have a couple. And we were talking about switching light switches and receptacles, and he kind of encouraged me, which I kind of knew that. They, especially if they're old looking, you want to change those. So I changed, I told him to go ahead and get me some and change the receptacles and the switches. Makes for a better look. The little smallest details, I mean, it's what, a couple of bucks each? It's worth, I can't believe some people that don't even change them. Like, what do you save it? It makes it so much cleaner look. So of course, you want a contractor, you know, sometimes contractors don't return your calls, don't show up when they're supposed to. But the old best way to get them to show up is tell them you got a check. And that's where Chad Smith with Element Electric, he did the basement electrical work for me. Right away, hey, I got a check. <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez, they're there. Uh, yeah, so, uh, and Chad, Chad's been a staple in Franklin and JD Legends. He's worked at JD Legends Electrical 16 years ago. Looks like Aaron Lewis, who's, you know, the singer from Stained. I always make fun of him. Get him, he wasn't wearing his hat. When he wears his hat, he looks like Aaron Lewis. You wish you were, but you still look like him though. It's okay. All right, this is the part I hate the most. I like the most. This is, <laughs> if you want to know how to get to a contractor come in and see you, tell them you got to check. <laughs> <laughs> show up early. <laughs> That's the only way you get them to show up on time. Well, I got 10 minutes and I got to be to the next one to, to collect, to collect the checks. <laughs> 1472? Yeah. That's the balance I owe one. Oh, you sign it? <laughs> That's a trick too. <laughs> don't sign when it. When you have no money in the account, don't sign it. Buys you two days. <laughs> Sometimes three days. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> you haven't been in my new place. You moved. You moved, damn it. <laughs> well, I've got another house contract. Oh, yeah? Where is it at? I'm carrying on with a dark customer. Oh, that's what we were talking about that the other day. Yep. That's, that's fancy here. No, it's 1960. Some still fancy here. Yeah. You took double for it. It's incentive. You need this. Can we hold the check like a donation? Like we just donated. <laughs> we just donated can, money. Another can donation. Get, can you get one of those uh, big checks? Like one of yeah, the, yeah, like yeah. I won the I lottery get, or something. You know what? <laughs> I should actually get one that says GTG Renovations every time I write a contractor. <laughs> like donation to. <laughs> big good, check. I'll be like. Good <laughs> I'll be all thumbs up. Compilation for the credits of all these checks are here. We do need to take a picture. Make it look like a donation. I'm going to say another donation. Do his favorite charity. <laughs> I went to Andy Johnson and uh, had a feeling like he looked like he was going to win the bet, the stake with his uh, head roofer. And I was trying to bribe the roofer to not finish on time, but I had a feeling they were going to finish on time. So I had to double down uh, that they weren't going to finish by six. Uh, for a margarita. I didn't want to double down with another steak. Uh, that would have been costly, but double down for a margarita. We'll see how this ends out. Final vented soffits. 
and then vinyl standard siding. Okay. okay. I'll let you know later today. Okay, cool. That sounds good. <sighs> I think I think I'm gonna be winning the steak dinner. You're not gonna win the steak dinner. What time is it? Bet. It's two o'clock. Man, you got a you got I a long you, way to the, go. This is the fastest part what? of the whole job. Okay. Right. Yep. Okay. Install. One, two, three, done. Yep. Okay. What time are you gonna finish? He owes me dinner. We finished today, so I'm already eating good. Oh yeah. I know that. Yep. Let me go hey. to the shingle now. Yeah, 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 let Lalo go. <laughs> I'll, give you what, what? I'll give you $100 to oh, delay it. Finish, finish <laughs> two, in three days? No. $200. I'll buy you a steak dinner. <laughs> 200 <laughs> dinner, I'll buy you a dinner. How about we're even? $200, you yeah. star. <laughs> what time do you think, Lalo? I think... Um, I say... 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock? Yeah. I think 6 o'clock. All right. Double down for a margarita. Yeah, there you go. I was going to say, side bet is regardless. A margarita, six. double down. You're not going to finish by six. Yeah. I'm doubling down. So we'll be done by six, and I'm going to get a margarita. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know about this. Uh, I think they're playing with me. <laughs> no. I got... I got an ace Believe up Believe it or sleeve. not, I this is I got an ace up my sleeve. All I got to do is say, hey, $10 more a square, and Lala will jump on the roof, and pop, I pop, know. Pop, 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 and we'll be done. <laughs> <laughs> You're working hard, Clark. Man. Good. All right, so I just had to send a guy to go get four bundles of shingles. I'm literally four bundles from being done, but it's gonna take him 20 minutes to get back and I've got 40 minutes till my six o'clock deadline. So I think I'm good to go for my steak. I'm probably gonna to have to buy Was via margarita. Where's so, my margarita? We'll see. Where's my margarita? At least I get Did you finally are you gonna get a margarita? You're probably gonna get a margarita. <laughs> but I think I'm still gonna come out ahead with my steak dinner. It's still a, you got till eight. Six. Six right for the margarita. Right till eight. Dark for the roof. You know, I should have done a time. The dark thing. I, if it was in the winter time, I would have been. It's wrong, dark already. I know. <laughs> well, we've been taking our time too. I wouldn't have oh, let everybody yeah, sit yeah. down. Now and have he's an making excuses. I, now I, I he's making excuses. <laughs> we would have packed peanut butter and jelly, and we would have saved an hour. <laughs> so today, Brian arrives with his trailer. Of course, he's driving a Hummer, and the trailer sits so low, and our driveway is so low. It just, it, he was struggling to back up. Of course, he, when he finally backs up, he damages my grass. Another grass damage. What am I going to do? We got a little uh, grass damage here. Jeez. My guy backing into he's got too high of a too high of a. What do we call that? Stop at the divots. There you go. Trailer, so. Does he need this light? See what your contractors do. Oh my gosh, what the hell. Seriously, look at that. There you go, it's all fixed. And the shit I have to put up with. Oh, Hold on, here's another one. I just took a shower too. Just coming here to chill. There you go. Clark, what do you think? <laughs> I think we're gonna need a, some grass. Yeah, we need home too. All right, so he just pulled back. Uh, I've got 15 minutes left, and a square shingles to install for our Owasio margarita. Sixty seconds before Margarita, Bill. Forty seconds. Forty seconds. They're close. Look how close they are. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can tell them andale, andale. <laughs> so Andy was so happy that he was doing a little dance outside. I don't like to dance. I like to be doing the dancing, not him. 
I'll get you back if you win. That's the dream you're real. I'm at my showcase. I'm at your security guard. 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 I'm at your I came in a couple days ago and I smelled this really bad odor that I haven't smelt in this house. And I was like, something's not right. And I kept looking at it. I said, something's dead. And I didn't know it could be a squirrel, it could be a cat, <laughs> it could be a bird, it could be anything. And uh, Clark found out what it was. I told him this morning, I said, there's a smell. He said, this morning he couldn't find it. But I slept for a few hours and I came back and he said, uh, we found it. We found the culprit. Unfortunately, it was a dead bird between the window. And where's the birdie at? Poor birdie. Let me toss it out here somewhere. Mm. Mm. Poor birdie. We need to ha right give there. it a, a burial. Like, we should actually give it a burial. Let's give it a proper burial. Where's Clark? We need to give that bird a proper burial. Yeah, why not? All right. And Clark's going to do it. Clark! Clark, come here. Earlier in the week, I had walked into that sunroom area and I noticed a foul smell uh, that I had never noticed. Uh, since I've been there. Um, we pretty much took everything out and there shouldn't be a smell. So if, if you smell something, uh, it's usually something dead. And, and I had Clark uh, looking for it and uh, he didn't find it earlier, but this day that he told me he found out what it was and it was a dead bird uh, that he found between the walls. We don't know how it got in there, but it got in there and it died and, and Clark just threw it out. And I was like, Clark? Man, you, you find something dead, you gotta give it a proper burial. So we, we took the bird, wrapped it in a white uh, plastic, and uh, buried it in the backyard. So whoever buys the house, you've, uh, you've got a, a bird grave in your yard. Don't sue me, it's just a bird. It's better than being above the ground. Poor Tweety. Little birds. <laughs> Wasp speed respects wildlife. All right. Fortunately, we don't have a casket, but it's been wrapped. All right. Yep. Oh, get, can you get him? You just wrap the bird. Can you show the bird? Support that bird. Yummy. I don't know how he got in there, but... All right. Let's send him off, Clark. Get him the proper Samoan. That's right. Farewell. All right. Put him in there. For good luck. Yep. Here we go. See? That bird was it. Oh, uh, I don't know. This is a pretty little bird. Alright. Time to say goodbye, birdie. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie bird, but at least we honored it in the right way. Alright. So today a lot is getting done and we're starting out. You you look at me, don't look at me like that. <laughs> Me up. You at me. You're like, Back. what the hell? Did I give you a weird look? You did. You were looking at me and I'm like, all right, we'll start over. <laughs> Take six. 
In this episode, no, I don't need, here we go. I think I drank too much. It's supposed to be just one shot, I took two. Okay. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, if you see, if you guys see the guy behind the camera, you're wondering why I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> He's a scary dude. All right, all right, take six. I love hammocks. Like, it's the most relaxing thing. I just relaxed and just chilled for a moment. It's just like that zen feeling around trees. Get your hammock, it's the best thing. All right, this is what you get here when, uh, when you have a long day. You can install one of these and relax. Rock-a-bye, baby. Oh, this is nice.